Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Vietnam Innovators. I'm your host, Hao Tran. Thanks for tuning in every Tuesday morning or whatever day it is for you, whenever you're listening to this on all of our channels. Uh, without you, this podcast would not be possible. Um, we're in the midst of season three. We've had a number of guests covering all different types of topics, everything from the metaverse to fintech to HR. Um, and today we're covering something that definitely is also trending, uh, cloud computing, digital transformation. Um, and it's not just for your average tech company, it's also for uh, big companies, small companies of any type of industry that are really looking to digitize. Um, and we want to learn from one of the experts in that field here in Vietnam and his team, of course, uh, Doran Sakhar. He is the CEO and founder of Renova Cloud, um, focused on digital transformation, cloud computing, and a lot of other things. Um, Doran, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Hal. Thanks for having me here. Let's start a little bit about your, your background. I think cloud computing, people have a pretty high level understanding of. Um, most of our, our audience, I'm sure, has integrated cloud computing in some way. Um, but let's talk about um, why you're in Vietnam first. Um, what's your background? Maybe you can start with a little history. There. Yes, I will say a few sentences about myself. So I am um, born and raised in Israel, educated in Israel, uh, have been um, in the Israeli army in one of the elite units for uh, almost uh, six years. Uh, then I um, study engineering in Israel and uh, start work on uh, high-tech uh, industry. Um, of course, at the time, uh, the IT ecosystem uh, wasn't uh, developed as it uh, today when we are talking about um, early 90s, mid, mid 90s. Um, and when we uh, move forward to the uh, early 2000s, um, more and more companies uh, start to look uh, over Asia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was uh, very lucky at that time to work uh, inside, um, with uh, IT company, and uh, then I was uh, start to be involved in Asia, and I uh, really got uh, attracted uh, with Asia. In 2006, I was uh, relocated to Hong Kong, and then that was my first time in Vietnam, and uh, my memory is still uh, stay with me. The first time you see the sun shining in uh, Hanoi, um, you, you're pretty much shocked. You're pretty much shocked from the peaceful. Mm. You're pretty much shocked from the people uh, on the road, very Just friendly. Just quiet. Very quiet mm. at the time. Uh, forget about the busy Hanoi that you know, uh, that you know today. Mm. Um, and then you start, uh, I was starting at that time uh, within the telecom industry mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, I was uh, really impressed from the enthusiasm of the people mm -hmm. at that time, especially in the telecom and we are talking mm -hmm. about Vital and I remember Vital which is uh, one of the giant company here in Vietnam today, mm -hmm. uh, they were sitting in one room. And, uh, and uh, this is not like uh, that uh, long time ago. We are talking mm -hmm. about like 15 years ago, 16 mm -hmm. years ago, uh, even less. And they were sitting in one room, same as uh, Mobifone and uh, Vinophone. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I used to come there uh, quite mm -hmm. often and I got attracted. So in 2008, I decided to establish my own company here in mm -hmm. uh, Vietnam, and that's what uh, brought me here. Amazing. And um, as a self-founder, uh, I start to work with the telecom industry and uh, grow together with them with uh, several technology that I was uh, working with and build a team around, around me. I was very focused. Uh, we grow very fast and I, was, um, I, I would say we were successful. Uh, and I stay humble mm -hmm. <laughs> all the time mm -hmm. and uh, still keep a, a very amazing connection with the same people mm -hmm. that uh, uh, going uh, together with me at that uh, journey. Incredible. So it sounds like 15, almost 20 years ago, you, you came to Vietnam, you saw the potential of these now giant companies. They're giant like billion company. dollar companies, giant, uh, billions, thousands of them. And, and I keep my connection and I love together and we talk and we laugh and uh, always uh, nostalgia, nostalgic yeah. to talk. Uh, it's not uh, only about business, it's mm -hmm. about a personal relationship that mm -hmm. I still have there. Amazing. And um, uh, that's, the way, uh, the, that's the way I was starting uh, in uh, Vietnam. Got it. Uh, I just want to say that at that time, um, 
uh, as a foreigner, if you would like to sell something in Vietnam or you would like to introduce any kind of technology in Vietnam, you had to go via maybe two companies, mm. FPT and CMC. Mm. You don't have too, too many choices yeah. at, that, at that time. Uh, and I start to go directly to, to meet customers and to meet people and establish the relationship and it was a wonderful time. So I was staying uh, almost eight years in Hanoi. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I moved to Ho Chi Minh and uh, in 2018 I was established uh, Renova Cloud. So you, you worked in the telco industry a while and these old colleagues of yours are still in that industry. They're still and, in, and, still in the, um, and the banking. And, and, the, and, banking, and, and, and the banking. And they're probably asking you like, hey, uh, Doran, you moved from telco and you know banking and all this stuff to cloud. And do they ask you like, what is cloud? Should we be on cloud? Like, Absolutely. What, what's the sell uh, that you uh, give them? Like, why I'm oh, doing oh, this? Sorry. The, definitely. When I come, when I came, uh, uh, and I'm talking about uh, five years ago, mm-hmm. when I uh, present my uh, and I present my venture or my idea, mm-hmm. that, and I told them that uh, Vietnam will probably will uh, grow like uh, many other countries around the region. Uh, with the cloud computing or with public cloud, uh, they mostly say to me, it won't happen in Vietnam, Doron. Mm. And I, uh, when, I, when I asked them why, and they said, no, you, you don't know. The regulation will not allow it, mm-hmm. uh, security issue, and so many other things. The Vietnamese want to control, the companies like to control. Cloud is about the democratization, is about uh, giving power to the people, mm-hmm. giving power decision to uh, employees. It won't happen here mm-hmm. as you believe. It might be some startup here and there, but not on a mass scale. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, uh, we, we are in a totally different story today in a very, very mass scale of uh, growing the cloud. And of course, uh, there is uh, still a way to go in terms of uh, cloud. So uh, I I would like to say a few words for people who might uh, don't know a little bit what is cloud. So Mm -hmm. I would like to try to define it uh, more accurate uh, to those people who um, who are not coming from the clearly technology side. So cloud is basically is uh, providing others or service provider to control your IT. It sounds very scary mm. for a lot of uh, companies, and it is scary because uh, in one hand, uh, you start to think that another company um, is uh, taking care of your security, take care of your services, your computing, your storage, and you give it to someone else. And, uh, and this is something that um, uh, I will always say that uh, starting the cloud journey is starting uh, changing your mentality and it's a culture. Mm-hmm. So it's not just because it's a trend. It is a trend, but it doesn't uh, seem that it's suitable for every company. And each company need to look at it and in, in terms of uh, is it suitable for us now? Are we ready for this kind of journey? Or we might wait another two or three years and start it from different kind of reason. We don't have the right uh, team. Um, we don't have the support from the uh, shareholder or from the board member or from the key people. So uh, there, there's a lot of uh, culture issue around it. And of course, technology is technology. And um, for many companies that are starting their journey or startup, cloud is, um, is goes without saying, especially for y- younger generation here. But uh, if you look over Vietnam, there are 800,000 SMBs here. And those uh, SMBs, I would say that might be 10% of them today are uh, start to think about cloud Mm. computing. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are not talking about uh, those uh, leaders, uh, companies that are leading the industry here Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the financial sector or uh, e-commerce or uh, gaming or any other. They lead the industry and Mm -hmm. we hear about them and we we know about them but um, uh, those one who are SMBs are still hesitant to to do this kind of uh, movement and culture change mm-hmm. yeah I mean you mentioned um, 
you know, these, uh, these big companies that you worked with in the past, um, you know, five years ago expressed, uh, you know, hesitation about this technology. Absolutely. But I'm, I'm sure some of them have already moved to the cloud in that five years. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. definitely. You know, uh, uh, certainly there are a, a lot of names uh, coming now to my mind that mm -hmm. I remember them. A, a few of them are, are really rough. Mm -hmm. Four years ago, when we start our journey with them, mm. they were really rough and they say to us, uh, guys, uh, it won't happen here. Mm. Uh, we, we can do that. Uh, the regulation won't uh, allow us. And today they are uh, in full transformation. Mm. So um, uh, this is wonderful to say. And for me, it's not about acquire uh, a new customer. For me, as, um, as a mature entrepreneur as a mature person uh, uh, to see the trend to see the way that uh, uh, companies uh, talking to me today and say to me Doron we still remember you coming here and try to convince us and see where we are today mm. and uh, I said that, that's wonderful it's make me really really excited and so um, and and the language they are talking today and the way they are they are thinking today about mm. their new services so uh, I, I will give a, I will give an example. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take uh, any kind of traditional company here without mentioning uh, names, uh, and they are having let's say a presence all over Vietnam. Mm -hmm. It might be farms, it might be uh, retail, it might be uh, any kind of other presence. Uh, they want to scale up fast and they want to uh, add new services. And this is where the cloud is coming. Why? Because when the sales guy or the marketing person coming and say to them, uh, guys, our competitor are doing this and this kind of services and we are starting to lose in this, in this province mm -hmm. customers. Uh, what are we going to do? They can they have the capability today without thinking too much with the cloud technology to launch a new service to go to the market to promote it see if it's uh, successful if it's not successful to scale it down so scaling up and scaling down this is the capability that cloud uh, provide to uh, a lot of companies today and this is the main issue that uh, you need to think as a, as a founder or as a company that uh, looking for innovation mm -hmm. or looking to uh, catch up with the market must, uh, must do because you have, you have no other choice. Let's talk about Renova Cloud too. So uh, I think uh, the cell is there in terms of cloud computing, cloud transformation, um, scalability, flexibility. Absolutely. Um, so what does Renova Cloud do exactly? Well, give me the elevator pitch. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in, in two sentences, uh, we, we are uh, helping companies on that part of cloud computing execution. Uh, so, uh, by the end of the day, someone, um, is, someone need to show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. When you build uh, a new building or you are building a new foundation, you need to go to some experts to tell you, hey guys, in this kind of soil, you need to uh, dig for 12 meter what won't be enough for you to mm -hmm. dig only for five meters. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this and this and this. Oh, why? There are many reasons. Yeah. So th this is where we are. So um, uh, we, we are not McKenzie. We are not, uh, we are not like a PwC. Mm -hmm. we, we do not, we try to be very humble and not to come with a strategic, uh, a, I would say, um, a plan to a company or come with... We, are, we, we go to a company and tell them, guys, whatever you have, you have a great people here, you have a, a really, really skilled people, but we are the expert on this part to help you to build the right, right foundation. Later on, you can decide which kind of service you would like to, uh, you would like to launch, how you want to do it, uh, how you want to connect to your business. This is your decision. Mm. But we are here 
to show you how to make it in the right way. And at the moment that you have the right foundation, you can grow by yourself. When you say show, um, obviously there's a expertise, knowledge transfer element to this. Um, are you guys focused on that continual knowledge transfer? Are you uh, focused on perhaps education um, for your, your clients so that they um, can kind of you know, do it themselves at some point? I mean, there's a level of how much they could do, but I'm, yes, I'm uh, ab- absolutely. That. Depend uh, depend who you are. Mm. Depend uh, what kind of uh, company you are. Mm. There are, uh, uh, I will say, the large uh, companies here. They want to have uh, the knowledge to keep the knowledge in house. Yes. So we are the one that uh, help them to build this knowledge, mm. and of course. Uh, uh, we are always uh, there to help them to grow up for the next level and to the third level. And there are companies that uh, saying to us, guys, we we want to focus on our business. We want to do our business. You guys take care of the whole uh, services, the whole cloud, the security, the foundation, the computing, the process, the automation, uh, the CICD, continuous integration, continuous deployment. Take it, uh, take it by you, and uh, we are there, and uh, we would like to build our business, and uh, me as a founder and our team, we would like to uh, catch up the market with uh, our industry, either is uh, insurance, either is e-commerce, either is gaming, or any, any, other, any other way, uh, which is, uh, makes sense, uh, because uh, by the end of the day, uh, you don't need... Uh, a old team which are becoming more and more skilled and more expensive uh, to hold in-house and uh, you definitely would like to have a company like us to mm. to help it uh, make it better right um, in terms of uh, where you guys sit in in the Vietnam landscape um, well, let's talk about um, the people at Renova Cloud. I'm sure, uh, how, how many staff do you have now? Uh, today we are uh, 45. Okay, already. and 45, yeah. uh, how do you find um, hiring for talent that know about cloud computing? Is it more like there's a lot of people that know about it already, or is it people that want to learn about it, so they end up at Renova Cloud? What does that look like? Oh, there, uh, th- this is a great point. Um, uh, you know, there's so many people here in Vietnam, and. Um, uh, they are coming from different kind of sectors mm-hmm. that really want to study and know about cloud and they know that uh, it's going to stay for many years mm. and they want to advance their career or uh, transform their career and um, uh, this is on, on one hand on the other hand uh, there is a huge lack of skills in the market at the moment and the, this there is a huge gap. Uh, we are trying to, in somehow, to uh, fill this gap. Mm-hmm. So we establish another uh, company called uh, Renolib, and this is a purely training company. Mm-hmm. So we take people who are QA or uh, support or uh, any kind of uh, technical uh, background can be even just a programmer, Mm -hmm. a basic programmer. And in 13 weeks of a really, really, I would say, commando course Mm -hmm. daily, uh, we're going to bring them to be uh, junior DevOps. And uh, what we uh, and the model that we are uh, working on that is that, uh, of course, they don't pay for these 13 weeks, Mm. but they are committed to stay with us Mm. for uh, two years. And we are committed to bring them to a project and we are committed to bring them to a real experience. Education, but execution of the actual and execution. Exactly. Um, So uh, mm. and uh, and this is something that uh, we already start. Mm -hmm. We build it. Uh, I'm not sure how big it's going to be. I'm not sure how we can scale it. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of question mark. We just start. Mm -hmm. But we definitely want to try that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we focus because we see the the huge demand in the market. Again, uh, this is a very hot topic. Mm -hmm. Uh, Keep keep the people in your company uh, and the right people in your company is always a challenge. Mm -hmm. And you always, um, I I would say, um, challenging yourself how you can do it better. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and not only us, I believe that uh, all the industries co- cope with the same uh, w- with the same difficulties uh, of uh, keep the the right people. By the way, Doran, I love how you described it as a commando course. It's kind of like you're going from your your background, right? <laughs> yeah. Getting training in the Israeli military. <clears throat> it's kind of like I actually see the design how you how you think about execution as well. It's like. Um, the whole training commando course, there's not a lot of those out there, right? And a lot of people want to get into it, but usually they, you have to pay tens, like thousands of dollars to learn about that, and then hopefully you get a job after. But by providing that course, and then uh, you know two years of execution, and, and usually these projects last quite a while, right? Like three, six months, maybe even longer. Yeah, uh, um, four months. Four months at least. Uh, okay. Four yeah. months. So, um, uh, uh, let me just take a little bit for uh, sure. for a, my a personal uh, story about myself. Um, I was in uh, one of the um, elite unit in Israel, and uh, during the course, uh, which is uh, two years, uh, in the middle of the course, like uh, after one year, you start to navigate, mm. and you start to study your navigation, and you go uh, by yourself with a very heavy weight. Uh, new and a lot of uh, stuff around you so you uh, helicopter just leave you somewhere and you need to remember all the way and of course you have a timeline to to get and uh, this is a physically mentally endurement and um, and a lot of uh, cope uh, for you uh, during the your navigation during the day uh, so uh, uh, w- one of those, uh, one of my experience, I, um, I I arrived to to the final point, but I made it late. I made it late for one hour, and uh, my commander told me, uh, "You made it late. You didn't pass." Mm. Uh, that that was really really devastating. So um, uh, uh, this is like uh, after like uh, almost fourteen hours, you just walked during in, in in a huge mud and rain, <laughs> with the, and he just said you didn't pass it. And uh, the meaning for me uh, was you need to start a month back. You you have to go almost three months back to start the, this part of the course again. And uh, of course I did it and I passed it. But um, uh, you, you need a very, very uh, strong mental endurement. And this is what we are trying to build in our course here. Yeah. So, uh, for example, one of the things that we are doing, uh, the people in the course, they don't see Renova Cloud at all until they got to the final stage, which is mean the last four weeks. Mm. So during the course, we would like to see those people who are really committed. Mm-hmm. Those people, those guys who are really want to see themselves in, uh, in an environment that will be under pressure, that they know how to handle pressure, mm-hmm. they know how to handle uh, uh, multitask or difficult tasks, or they know how to study new things, new technology, and get into it. And this is something that we are trying to build in this uh, in this course. It's not easy. We have another uh, head of training from Israel, and we build a trainer from uh, Vietnam. So we invest a lot in that, but let's see how it's going. <laughs> it's still a question mark for me. Well, let's talk about the future of Renova Cloud as well. Like currently, you guys are all about execution, delivering these projects on time with these with these big, small clients, any any size. Um, what does the future lie in store for Renova Cloud aside from just uh, the training commando course? Yes, that you oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, well, uh, we we try um, and di- and we see it in this uh, year. We see the trend in this year. We try to be involved in a very large scale project. This means uh, we would like to be in uh, companies or uh, that see cloud as their vision and strategy for a long term, for a long journey. And there are more and more companies here in Vietnam that definitely see that, even a very traditional so-called company. Mm -hmm. Like even the very government Mm -hmm. banking, Mm -hmm. they absolutely thinking about it. Why? Because the big, uh, I would say, giant uh, consulting company come to them, Mm -hmm. that they hire them Mm -hmm. and tell them very clearly, guys, you want to be in the age of technology. 
This is one thing. Second, you would like to catch up with the new services and new competition in the market. The third thing, you want to keep your people. Mm-hmm. You want to keep people and uh, touching Engaged, the right. Happy, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, the f- and, and the fourth thing, you want to raise the valuation mm. of your company. Mm. And you want, so cloud is part of your journey and you must be there. And they start to understand it mm. and they start to get it. So every chairman today that you, you will talk, and I believe you, you are, uh, he will tell you cloud is our uh, definitely one of our core strategy uh, in terms of all of this so-called digital transformation, which is uh, including so many other things inside the organization. So uh, it's a huge challenge for this kind of uh, organization. First of all, they work so many years at the same pattern, plus they make a lot of money. <laughs> so now you tell them, change the pattern we are not sure you can make the same money mm-hmm. but you need to do that uh, so uh, they are really uh, taking huge risk to take it and we want to be there we want to be part of this journey and this is the future that we see for renova cloud so uh, on one hand on the other hand i don't want to neglect those uh, smbs here in the market that are so important and i love to work with them why because first of all decision making is making quite fast Mm -hmm. and second they can see the benefit Mm -hmm. Uh, they don't believe in the benefit in the beginning they don't understand why i should uh, start working on it but Mm -hmm. when they start to launch new services and they start to see how it's helped them to innovate themselves and uh, of course to attract more people mm-hmm. everything changed it starts with uh, travel companies tourism company which are the most traditional here going to uh, i don't know li- companies doing libraries or a- anything like that all of them are uh, really, really enthusiastic to go for the new technology, and you see it. So it sounds like, uh, you know, these, especially these um, companies that are not yet fully digitized, they see that the initial cost or, or even time investment is quite high, but obviously the long term investment is not just more efficiency or, or, or a bigger scale, um, but it's actually cost savings. Um, yeah, a little bit more upfront, but if you have uh, the capital or you, you have the, the resources, um, the, the kind of amortization, I guess you could say, or the long-term value is, is just massive. No doubt, no doubt about it. Uh, um, uh, I, I will talk about one sector mm. that is a little bit behind, mm. but it start to catching up. Yep. Mm. Let's say the healthcare sector. Mm. And the healthcare sector always uh, have been a little bit behind from different story, you know, uh, regulation, and um, they don't want to release patient uh, information, etc., etc. And of course, the process and a, l- a lot of... Uh, and uh, you see today hospitals, private hospitals, and even government hospitals, they really, really moving there. Mm. And, uh, and you see how they so much excited mm. to, to <laughs> get uh, to be there. And for me, it's like unbelievable. I, uh, I, I go to Hanoi and meet the, like government hospitals, some, some, uh, those kind of organization I even didn't think of, never to meet and today, <laughs> They are so excited to sit with our people and we tell them and we bring uh, AWS, we bring uh, uh, other uh, partners and they, and they talk with us and they uh, keep telling us that they are so waiting for us and that I, I feel amazing. Mm. I, I don't care much about, um, about the, the business result of that, but I really, really care and I see how uh, and, and they and they say to us, we want to serve our customer much better. We want to arrange appointment uh, much faster. Uh, we want to arrange uh, the shift of the doctors that they will feel uh, much more comfortable. Uh, we want to do so many other service internally and outside the co- and outside the hospital and say to them, wow, I, I'm so excited. And mm-hmm. the, those kind of organization make me feels very very it's good it's a perfect match it's just like you both run to each other You're like we need to yeah that's other. right that's right yeah, yeah. And, and, and i really love it you know uh it's easy to say you know to go to a gaming company or a media company like mm. you guys or uh, of course for you, you you we don't need to explain you what is cloud that for you guys for your uh, team is, is something like uh gold is out saying you mm-hmm. uh, 
you just like uh, you come to Renova and say to us, okay, guys, how we do that? How we do that? Show us. We take care of it. Mm. Fine. But uh, when you go for a traditional organization and transform them in one year or one and a half year, you really feel so good. Mm. You really feel something. Uh, you, you did something good. Amazing. So, so feel good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you kind of run to each other. I think that's the, um, the kind of uh, key message we could take away here. Um, exciting things on the horizon for Renova Cloud, Doran. Um, my final question so, I usually end with this as well is, um, who are you guys kind of hiring? Obviously, DevOps is a critical component of your business, and you're so invested in training the next generation. That's right. Um, what do you guys look for? I mean, discipline execution is very key, it sounds like. Uh, well, we, uh, I would like to say, I, I see Renova as my uh, life venture. I enjoy every, every morning that mm -hmm. I uh, wake up and see the team. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe uh, if you ask me four years ago or three years ago that uh, we'll be in this kind of size of company mm -hmm. uh, and presence, I, I, I say it won't happen. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I see today and uh, the team that uh, we are and the project that we are involved in, I'm I'm, I, I'm truly excited. And uh, for me, um, it's not uh, obvious at all. It's not obvious at all. As an Israeli guy that lives here in Vietnam, as a foreigner uh, working here with uh, Vietnamese companies, uh, it's a re it's a real blast for mm. me. I, uh, and I'm saying it uh, without um, uh, without any uh, when when a Vietnamese company calling us and t tell us, Doron, we need you to to help us in our journey. I say. I, I'm so happy to come. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever, whatever the result uh, will come in terms of, uh, I would say, uh, business or money or money outcome, we we want to be there mm -hmm. uh, on those kind of journeys, um, uh, and part of this journey. Uh, but on the other hand, as you as you ask, we need to be very very focused, and we focus on uh, on some age. Uh, so there are two ages that we'd like to be uh, pretty much focused. Mm -hmm. One of that is the, as you said, DevOps and automation, uh, and how to automate as much as possible your services, uh, whatever company you are, whatever services you are providing to the to the market. And the second thing, which is very important today, is the data analytics. People want to know what's going on in their company. Mm -hmm. And for you, the most important, so the most important to companies today is not, the, is not the infrastructure behind, is what are the results that this kind of technology give us to understand more, to make a faster decision, and to get the data uh, on time. Mm -hmm. This is very, very important. So th those are the, uh, I would say, the key project that we are, we would like to be involved. Amazing. This is a perfect marriage, uh, like what you're doing with your execution and your precision with, with cloud competing. I think uh, I just wanted to comment that, Dorian. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, Thank you very much. Great. Well, uh, that kind of concludes today's episode of Vietnam Innovators. Uh, to our audience, our listeners, our watchers, thank you so much for tuning in every single week for another episode of Vietnam Innovators. Uh, we will be announcing soon, by the way, some cool new initiatives within the Vietnam Innovators ecosystem and family. Uh, just a little teaser there, I can't share it quite yet. Um, but with that said, Doran, thank you for joining, CEO, founder of Renova Cloud. Check them out if you need uh, any tips on cloud computing, digital transformation, just getting stuff done. Um, Doran, thank you so much for joining the studio. Thank you very much, Hal. The time. We'll have you back soon. Thank you. Thank you. Our goal is to be the top children's platform in Vietnam. And to do that, we wanted to fully recognize the benefits of cloud computing and automation opportunities. We chose to work with Renova Cloud, an AWS advanced consulting partner, to provide expertise as we embark on our journey to modernizing our technology stack.